Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Going to be rolling with the Seattle Seahawks as my offense. I'm going to be using the balance defense in this gameplay. Going to go against the Redskins. What a nice surprise uh, just to play a team that's a little bit different. And um, I'd like to say I wanted to really showcase my offense, uh, the Seattle Playbook offense in this particular gameplay. But this gameplay did not turn out to be that way. It became a very huge defensive battle. Um, and then the game actually got away uh, got away from um, my opponent uh, fairly quick uh, once I locked down on his simple scheme he was running. So right here, uh, he, in the previous play, he actually showed me man uh, coverage. So I go ahead and try to set him up with a, a fly route and sluggo. But all those guys actually fell back in the coverages and actually threw, uh, just made a bet. I don't know what happened right here. I actually uh, threw the ball intentionally. It was actually... Uh, I threw the ball past the line of skirmish, so I actually got um, uh, basically a loss of downs right there. So third and 13 situation, jump into uh, halfback sh uh, shark wheel, post route with the Mills concept, always open against cover two, so I'll be able to go and convert in a 27-yard reception right there. So hit him with a nice little trap play, had some pretty good blocking, but his funnel actually closed me up, only for a three-yard gain. And right here I'm actually looking for the left side, Whip route, I uh, actually go ahead and try to hit the angle, and the ball actually sailed on me. I just missed pass let it uh, in an interception. Uh, that was an interception right there. But uh, that play, uh, that was the right read, right right throw. I just missed pa pass let it, and that's why I actually got an interception. So I'm in a little, grind, a little bind right now. So I come out of a cover three shell, and his blockers actually pick everybody up. He actually had a fairly good running game. He's out of the strong formation. Once again, in the cover three shell. I think I went ahead and protect the sticks. And right here, his blockers pick the play up perfectly. And gets another first down. So just grinding easy yards against the ground against me. He jumps into uh, basically... Um, the strong close right here, and what I did is I just manned up of the slot right there and actually get pressure off the edge. He doesn't make a fast enough read, so get him in a second and 20 situation, try to change it up a little bit, and go with uh, the pinch blitz right there, and actually makes a good read, hits the post, uh, and my, there's a switch with the defender, so that's why he's able to do that. So back to the cover two. Once again, set it up. I was actually trying to set the blitz, uh, blitz off. It actually goes ahead and hits me in the flat. So uh, my thought is that I'm going to have to go ahead and set up uh, basically the, the cover two blitz out of the 52 and actually go ahead and try to tackle them with um, a little flat rod and do hard flats. So right here, I actually go ahead in the 52 again. He's got basically empty backfield right here. Just trying to get some pressure off the edge. I figure I'm actually going to go ahead and get him off the edge. And he actually makes a good read. Hits a flat rod right there. And picks up a first down. So, uh, first and ten situation uh, right here. I, I go with uh, basically safety blitz. I've got uh, yellow zones across uh, across the field. He takes out this quarterback and actually gets tackled for a few yard gainer here. So second and nine situation. Once again, hard flats. Looking to play the middle of the field. He actually throws the ball across his body right into my uh, defender right there. And I get the ball down in the nine-yard line. So big play for me right there. Um, so right here, I'm actually taking a look at this play. I've got a deep comeback route. Uh, I've got a fly route. I'm thinking he's playing man coverage. And I'm looking for the deep comeback route. And he actually gets me with an inside man blitz and actually catches me for a sack, for giving up a safety. So not a good way to go and start a game. Actually, get a, I get a stop on defense, give the ball back to him on offense. So um, not a very good situation. So hit him with the blitz again, with the 52 blitz. He doesn't have a fast read. I take away his read over the middle, and a Khalil Max able to go and get a nice little uh, sack for me. Second and th uh, in uh, 18 situation, going with the cover three shell, protecting the sticks. He does a little um, a little takeoff with this guy, but he actually throws across his body again. So I don't know what this guy was doing. So uh, go with a cover four blitz out of the 34 defense. I haven't really showcased, showcased this blitz at all. Uh, but right here I get inside pressure, but doesn't get out there quick enough. And right there he's able to go ahead and get a completion. So fourth and sixth situation. Goes for it again. I get. A, I, I think I go with a press look, and this actually. It show, I'm showing him cover three. So this is probably messing up his reads a little bit. He throws it a flat. I get a defender out there to go ahead and get a stop. So, two minutes and 34 seconds left. I'm going to go into the the wing offset uh, formation. 
Try to hit him with another trap play right here and actually get phenomenal blocking. He pulls his defender out of the area. Get the ball down to the 10-yard line. Just going to chew the clock down to a two-minute warning right here. Just want to chew as much clock. Go up in seven and just go into the second half. Or just try to uh, pat, just try to get out of this little hole. Right here, uh, basically, he, he seals off the edge. Really nowhere for me to go with it. And I go in and jump into a second and 12 situation. Whip up my backside uh, wide receiver. And then I go ahead and put Cohen on a, on a little streak route. And I'm able to go drop it down to him and get it down to about the seven-yard line, six-yard line right there. He takes another timeout to preserve clock. This is one of my favorite plays in the red zone. It's a simple mesh concept with a, with a deep in on the outside and I got a 6-6 six, six, uh, tight end right there to go up for big to go and get a touchdown for me. So up in this type of situation right now um, against them uh, basically 7-2. Seven, seven Can't give up any kind of cheap yards. Staying with this uh, 52 defense, you know, either players know how to shred it apart or they have a hard time with it. He actually goes ahead and, and blocks everybody, takes off this quarterback. Nice run by him. He actually goes ahead and, and, and dives right there, so he actually doesn't give a big yard. So back into the uh, the blitz again, uh, the 52 blitz. He goes ahead and tacks me down in the middle. Nice little spin move off my uh, off my defender to get the ball down to the 30 yard yard line right there. So got pressure coming off the edge again. Nice little spin move. Got that that, that timed up perfectly, and he's able to go ahead and get the ball down to the 40 yard line. So he's just chucking along. Now I go ahead and switch into hard flats, and actually right here get a tip ball interception. And uh, Fuller's off to the races. I'm going to get the ball right into the end zone. And I actually baited him into a hard flat. And he actually just kept checking down those flats, sticking with that uh, with those, uh, with those that uh, close look. So right here, he actually, this is when I realized this guy is just going to be a complete crybaby. Cry As you can see right here, the clock is just, mar uh, just mar marching down after I got that stop right there and he just keeps uh, keeps mark uh, letting the clock down I figured I'm gonna get to uh, get a grieving uh, situation from this guy but he actually takes a timeout then he goes and pauses the game then he offers me a friendly quit so I decline it it just you know man man guy if you think I'm gonna lose just go ahead and quit man just just end the agony don't just drag it out because you're not a better player than the player you're playing against there's no reason to do that, any kind of cheap tactics like that so it goes once again back to the hard flats uh, and I'm able to go in and get him uh, for a quick shot he actually took his, his running back and put him out so I manned him up pressure comes off the edge because it messes up his reads he's probably expecting a flat out there so third and 30 situation back my guys up once again pressure coming out uh, he actually gets a nice little spin move again but uh, third and 30, he's not in a good situation. So clock is marching down. He no huddles. Bad situation. Should have kept me on the field uh, in a separate situation. Go ahead and hit him with the pressure. Once again, I'm going to go ahead. He takes this guy, slides it over a little bit. And um, I've got Reed Crossman off the, off the right-hand side. I know where the weakness is, is at that seam route right there. And basically, he goes ahead and dro drops it down. So what I'm going to do, I'm take my points. No reason to take a shot in the end zone. No reason to take your points. Go up by another score. Really make them pay for making a mistake. So going to the second half right here. Um, this game is going to be pretty much iced right here if he makes another bad read. He does the fullback slide play. And quickly gets rid of the ball, and right there I'm able to go and, and, and tackle him uh, for basically no gainer. Set it up once again, 52-man uh, blitz. I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, man up those inside receivers and basically take the read over the middle, and uh, I'm able to get Rokon Swift. He's able to pick it off for me because he throws it right to over the middle and right to my user. So, And that's it. He basically checks out. Uh, didn't want to play anymore, so um, he offers me a friendly quit, of course. Uh, in this particular game, um, and then I think he just went ahead and, and quits out right there. So to my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll be rolling out some more Madden gameplay and some more tips um, out of this uh, Seattle Seahawks playbook. Once again, thank you for your support, and until next time.